Peace and blessings, family. Sister Ajali, in doing this share that I hope will be real short, I don't mean any disrespect. I enjoyed this man's uh, performances in The Wire, uh, but I remember watching just a couple episodes of the show Corporate, I couldn't keep watching it because it was so satanic. And they had him uh, portraying the devil, but not specifically. And they didn't call it out that way. It's the way that they put stuff where it's just little hints, little, you know, you do a little evil. Um, so I stopped watching it. But one of the things I noticed in that show was how aged a brother Lance Reddick looked and they're saying that he died from natural causes oh the hell no he did not die you don't die from natural causes at 60 maybe 61 years old no no you you could just have looked at his skin and and I saw it in the show and I said if I had known how young he was I would have definitively known there was something going on in his diet, in his way of living, and that just was putting out his melanin. And I've learned so much more, thanks to my king, Dr. Z, um, about all the nuanced ways that we've been indoctrinated into eating uh, that put out the lights of our melanin and thereby uh, seeing this, as I say, he just passed. So I'll do my best to make this a uh, clinical analysis. I was just about to get into my emotions there. Uh, but the disparity in these two entities, it, uh, these two persons, it's so glaring. That is such a contrast between a wealth of melanin and absolutely none, and also just attractiveness overall. I'm just saying, the beguilement that we have over just assuming these people are superior will take us down because they practice different habits that, number one, are not good for our melanin, particularly. They maybe can get away with it. We can't get away with it at all because our melanin is intelligent in and of itself. It will know you eating all the wrong crap, you drinking all the wrong crap, you're thinking all the wrong thoughts, you're living the wrong life in order to facilitate melanin's curative might. And thereby... In the midst of all these people, they're not going to notice that your melanin is going out. Where my own father, who was married to my mom, black woman, black man. But still, I noticed he had very dark circles under his eyes. His behavior was becoming increasingly erratic. And it just popped into my head that there was something greater wrong with him. And I just said to him, I think you have a tumor. I think you have a brain tumor because his emotions were just literally switch on and switch off. I'm so sorry that I didn't know what I know now because he went to a Western trained doctor for a diagnosis and lo and behold, he had a brain tumor that didn't, might, wouldn't have killed him if I'd known what I know now unless he was beholding to the Western doctors like most of us are. Uh, but the chemotherapy and my firm conclusion, that's what killed him. Because before he went into the hospital for the chemo treatment, he was still, he walked five miles with me, brain tumor and all. But as soon as they started giving him that chemo, he was out. He had no muscle function whatsoever. It was awful. It was awful. We must trust our instincts. And hopefully your instincts let you know who your rescue is and who your rescue is not. So 
my sincere rest in peace to Lance Reddick. I cannot offer you an ashe because you do not help our people perpetuate ourselves into forever. Even if at some point in time he was married to a black woman, um, he left her, I imagine, or maybe she left him. I don't know. I'm just saying uh, that swirling is, is, it doesn't leave a good echo for the perpetuation of beautiful you and me. Um, so I could offer him a rest in peace. I can sincerely offer my condolences to his friends and family. He had such a magnetic aura about him uh, that I don't think he would have realized was far deeper than just his skin. It was meant to be his soul's strength. And he didn't understand it because he was in the midst of devil dreaming. All right. Um, I'm just saying, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I know this is kind of, you know, here or there, but I just want to put it out there because this is going to get to be crazy. And what do you do in the middle of a war? Do you say, well, let me pretend it's not a war when these people are saying he died from natural causes and they weren't looking at his face and letting him know, brother, I don't think that you're okay. I wouldn't call him brother, but I'm just saying that they don't know how to diagnose us. But with that Fukushima fallout, which this would be an aspect, I'm sure he lived in California. Uh, they certainly know how to genocide. They've been practicing on whole continents for centuries. I just posted this today, as a matter of fact. I don't know how many people read it. It's very difficult to share such complex data, which is really very simple, ultimately. Uh, but let me read it here. This was an interview with the Russian cardiologist Galina Bandashevskaya that I do believe is the Russian way of saying Mrs. when they have the uh, Aya at the end of a name because that was the wife of Dr. Bandashevsky. Though I think Dr. Bandashevsky is still alive, so let me not say that. So the questionnaire, the interviewer, Vladimir Chertkov, said, you feel that you have shown a correlation between illness and cesium-137 in a sufficiently scientific manner? Dr. Galina answered, it is very well founded, solid, because all this data is not the fruit of our imagination. We have shown the correlation through matching up our data according to three research methods, and that we have shown that this problem exists particularly in cardiology, and that this study needs to be followed up. In our work as clinical cardiologists, we are coming across cases of death from acute heart failure in young men of 32, 42, 45 years old. A man comes home from work. He lies down and he does not wake up again. Or else he goes into the kitchen to drink a cup of coffee. Suddenly he collapses and he is dead. Why is this happening to young men? 61 is a young man. Especially given that I've also again and again discovered that he didn't have to die at 61. There are ways to get the radiation out. That's why they don't talk about it. Please step away from the liars. I love you. Straight black family pride. And eventually we'll be okay. Peace and blessings.